Looking at your setup, um, what does it take to start from the ground up to to start a CRT team, and what have, what have you brought in to put together for this machine to um, to come test? Basically, um, the rules require you to build your own frame, your own swing arm, uh, using non-production parts. Uh, you have to fab a gas tank uh, and and the bodywork as well. So, uh, along those rules, we basically used uh, Suzuki GSXR 1000 dimensions, ran through everything, and um, wound up with what we have. And so, what's what's your what's your what's your power plant here? Uh, what's, what's the motor? Yep, Suzuki okay. 1000. And to go from a Gixxer 1000 up to a CRT class racing yeah. machine, what type of um, what type of enhancements have you done, and what do you uh, maybe wish you could do or would aim to do, uh, you know, as you, as you continue on? Oh, I'd say wish list would be the sky's the limit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't even want to get into that list. Um, <laughs> The basics, though, is really, um, really what we did is, uh, for the most part, uh, refined what Suzuki had already done, uh, made it uh, much more versatile and adjustable package, and that we can change a lot of things like um, head angle and rake and trail uh, very, very easily, and then uh, making sure the bike's serviceable, and then our weights uh, usually down. And what's nice about this bike too is for the entire time we've. Uh, I've been focused on how to uh, work on the bike mm -hmm. more efficiently. Right, right. I would assume, you know, kind of, one of the more daunting challenges has got to be once you build it, then the resources that you got. Uh, I mean, you don't have a, an HRC garage, um, so you've you've got to be careful. You, you know, got to be efficient with your parts. You've got to be careful with your parts. Uh, I gather. I mean, what? How do you? Uh, how do you approach that? Um, what well, you're talking about, you know, sort of like working on the machine more efficiently. What type of what type of approaches uh, are you taking to, uh, to do that? Making sure that you get your hands in where they need to go a lot quicker, and mm -hmm. components come off in larger groups, and not necessarily um, m making things that you can remove easily and, and, and reattach easily. That mm -hmm. way, it can be serviced uh, much more quickly, or uh, you know, changed. Uh, much more rapidly. So, what's the what's the motivation for you coming into into CRT and to uh, you know being in the the, the series for? Uh, do you plan to be at all three U.S. rounds, or what's yeah, your? Yeah, we're doing okay. uh, Texas, Laguna, and Indy this year. Okay. And uh, um, ah, it's just a love for the sport, and it's a it's a nice opportunity. We saw a window that, we, that they'd allow us to get in and build something, and we jumped at it. Yeah. That's kind of how the basics. So, how would you? You know, coming into this, um, did you have expectations of where you would be as of now, or where you'd be before the the Austin race, and and how do you sort of stack up to what those expectations were? Mm, good. Um, it's been difficult with this race uh, because um, we've had tests in between leading up, and the tests are great, but it becomes more difficult for us because we're developing parts in the shop. Mm -hmm. So we have to pause that and then take those parts which are 30% done, come to the track, mm -hmm. and test, and then come back. So we, we haven't had an opportunity to test a 100% package that we will be racing for. So that's what kind of makes it a bit more difficult. And where's your shop based out of? Uh, Michigan. Okay, so you've got... A little bit of a hike. Yeah, a little bit of a hike to <laughs> everywhere, right? But yeah, yeah. maybe sort of the midpoint to a lot of places. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> So uh, all goes according to plan, and, and uh, y'all race at the three uh, U.S. rounds. Um, what's going to be your what's going to be your benchmark for success coming out of the year? I think it, it, it's it's we look inward for that success. Uh, we can't look at the rest of the grid just because the series that we're in. It's, it's unrealistic to say that we're going to be you know very competitive. What we have to do is really focus on improving what we do as as a company understanding motorcycles better and, and refining parts and, and really just expanding our knowledge of, of how a motorcycle functions properly. So uh, as long as the bike is always continuing development and moving forward, that's how we're gauging our success. And the parts keep getting better and the bike continues to get better, that's, that's my gauge. 
and being here among the uh, the factory squads, uh, I assume you've been very busy. But have you had a chance to either look around, or do you have you have you, have you sort of gleaned anything from being in this environment, maybe a little different than when you had the last test here, uh, when it was you know a little bit more yeah, in, yeah. you know solo. Oh well, yeah, and um, it, it was it was good having the factories here because you know obviously uh, you know. They lay down some fast laps, <laughs> so it gives us a very good gauge of where we're going to be in the race, where we what we need to do, um, our improvements there. So yeah, there's 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 some real advantages to that. In addition to that, um, some of the things that we came away from this test and Bridgestone found that um, moving, you know, using the flipping the tire is a different route uh, now seems to work better because we have different uh, compounds left to rear, and it, it, it's a good thing that we were here. Very good, good. So between now and Austin, what's uh, he said? You'll be heading back to the shop then, and uh, more uh, between now and the Austin race, uh, you'll be heading back to the to the shop. More fabrication. I mean, what's your what kind of what's your what's your to do list look like uh, before for April twentieth? Yeah, it's it, it, it really is quite overwhelming. Uh, go back to the shop. We do uh, another self supporting tail section, uh, a larger fuel tank. Um, stuff in the air box capacity. Um, we've also got uh, set up for a body work right now. We're going to be redoing all of that. And um, we've got a few other little updates. And obviously, just tweaks here and there. The stuff that didn't work um, make a little bit better. And the stuff that worked make, make better as well. Yeah. So, um, pardon my sort of ignorance, I guess, but I mean, how did you, how did you come into motorcycling in general or into the raceway. What's kind of what's your business prior to building this bike and, and how does this kind of fit in with so uh, I was doing uh, woodworking stuff before but always racing and uh, using the woodworking turned into pattern making and stuff of that nature and making our own parts and getting into the motorcycle industry that way. And yeah. Went from manufacturing parts to testing parts then we're always at the racetrack testing parts and then obviously it just uh, kind of snowballs from there. Yeah. Very cool. Um, 